Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and cast time once again. And let me um, let me go ahead and intro this. Um, this is gonna be Skempty. Skempty. I don't, I don't know how this is pronounced, but a uh, sunrise on the old kingdom. And this is some, uh, this is gonna be some Egyptian dungeon synth here. So looks like uh, Egypt is throwing their hat in the dungeon synth ring. Uh, but for some strange reason, I thought this kind of when I first uh, when I first listened to this, I kept thinking, man, this stuff has got to be copyrighted. It just like I said, I can't really put it into words, but it just it sounded like some luck. It sounded like some copyrighted music. I mean, especially with you know, it's Egyptian music. You know, it just yeah. So, but no, um, I did a copyright check on it and checks out. So. I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna last though. It just, it sounds like the kind of music I'd hear in like, like super popular video games and stuff. Like I can't think of any game names at the moment, but yeah. Like maybe League of Legends or something. Or even though I've, basically I've never played that game. Um, I need a, I need to pause a moment too. And then um, but uh, like yesterday, this. Uh, kind of getting this album was kind of wonky, for lack, lack, lack of a better word. Um, I originally was going to go with this, but then uh, I think about an hour ago, when I first started putting this cast together, um, some uh, Mallsoft music popped up on my YouTube recommendations. And yeah, I like this kind of music too. Um, but uh, I mean, I think uh, last I heard of this kind of music was probably probably about a year ago. But unfortunately, and strangely, they actually copyright this stuff. Yeah, did a copyright check, and it it got copyrighted cla copyright claims. So yeah, so they're they're copyrighting elevator music now. But but yeah, so luckily, luckily this album here checks out. So. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up from my end. So I can hear it better. So anyway, um a rather weird and goopy session today. Oh uh, well, Pinball FX3 crashed like usual. Um Pinball Arcade, the the usual DX11 version that I like to use, also crashed. Surprise, surprise. So that left the uh, the crappy DX9 version, you know, where you can't. I said this yesterday, but you can't. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, YouTube's fucking up. I gotta fix it. Okay, there we go. And I gotta get that pop up out of there. Okay. So anyway, um. But yeah, um, I had to do the uh, DX9 version, where you have to set it, where you have to have it on full screen, meaning every time I switch windows, there's going to be that chance that uh, that my computer's going to reboot itself. Not to mention, uh, I can't. There's no glow option for the ball, so it's very difficult, if not impossible, to see it, especially when it's traveling really fast. So. And then on top of that, um, my tablet, uh, when I first turned it on, it decided it wanted to freeze, like, right at the loading screen. So, it was stuck there. I couldn't, you, know, you can't turn it off, and there's no, um, uh, you know, you're, you're supposed to, like, hold down the power button and the reset button, or not power, the power and the volume button to try to, you know, force a factory reset. That wouldn't work either. And otherwise, there really is no there is no other way to power it down. I had to actually, um, and I, I was actually doing this during the stream too. I had a I had to go grab my uh, little tiny um, little tiny screwdriver, little flathead. I had a I had to pry open the rear panel, something which I don't think it was meant to do, it was meant to be done to it. So ripped it open. Um, eventually, I had to 
I had to pull the uh, battery cable. I had to unplug it from the socket. Unplug it and then plug it back in. But it took a while. It took a while, but it got it back up. Got it back up and running. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. So. So yeah, I I spent probably probably 15, 30 minutes of my stream just working on that. And then um it just occurred to me too I I probably should do I should probably add this on my blog post, but I it's gonna be it's gonna be too much trouble to try to try to get all the stuff I need, so I'll go ahead and say it here. Um huge props to the people that stuck around. I mean, I got, okay, now I, now I got to turn it down from my hand. Okay. But anyway, mad props to people who stuck around. You know, gotta, you know, you gotta commend your loyalty, because most other people, if they would have come on my stream and they would have seen all the trouble I was having, you know, trying to get my cell phone to work, because just found out that uh, my cell phone is ass when it comes to, uh, comes to my Twitch app on there. Because the Wi-Fi is like cutting out constantly and stuff. So, it's basically useless for streaming. So, but anyway, anyway. Mad props to you guys for sticking around. Because like I said, most most other people, they would have come on my stream. They would have seen all the trouble I was having with uh, trying to get my Twitch chat, trying to get my Twitch chat going. And would have just up and left. You know, and I had, a, I had people on there like offering me advice and stuff. You know, trying to help me out. So, again, greatly appreciated you guys doing that. Because, like, like I said before, and I've, and I've said this in my, um, in, in a lot of my other streams that I've had over the years, you know, it's always appreciated whenever somebody says, Hey, Joe, your mic's not working. Or, hey, Joe, I can hardly hear you. Can you turn the volume up? I mean, I always, I mean, I always appreciate stuff like that. Like, like I said, I've, you know, I've seen a fair amount of uh, people come on there, you know, mic ain't working. Oh, this guy's stream sucks. And they turn around and off they go. You know, like I'm doing this to piss them off or something. So, but but yeah, like I said, all, this whole time that I'm sitting here trying to trying to fix my issue, they stuck around. So. But anyway, eventually, eventually, yeah, I got my tablet back up and running and I was back in business. Um... But one, what good, what other good thing that happened in the session is I actually did pretty good. And um, but yeah, um, overall, Pinball Arcade went great. Um, I even um, I even managed to beat a high score that uh, I can't recall me beat. Probably, probably been at least a year since uh, I last beat it. So, but yeah, what did it again? So. And then, I think I broke the, I think I broke the top five, top five high scores and a few other tables as well. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty solid on all the others too, so, yeah. But yeah, the one, the one, or, yeah, the one diamond in the rough, so. Yeah, uh, gameplay-wise, it's just the kind of session I wish I'd get more of. So. Uh, but aside from that, though, uh, just I didn't really do a whole lot of gaming outside of that. Just, um... Played some idle champ. Just played some idle champs. Had that running for a while. Um, and um, I uh, like I said yesterday, I went ahead and re-rented American History X. Um, started watch, started watching a little bit of that, and then somewhere on my uh, my YouTube recommendations came the uh, the Itchy and Scratchy Show uh, marathon. Like, <laughs> like how the, how the, I mean, and for the, and I'm probably one of the rare ones, but I actually I actually like the YouTube algorithm. Cause it just it gives me all this random shit, 
You know, and I'm sure some of the uh, some of the other movies and videos and whatnot that I've watched over the years is courtesy of this algorithm. So, so yeah, keep up the good work, Algo. But anyway, um, so it's the Itchy and Scratchy Show marathon, like all the uh, all the uh, episodes and stuff from all 20 seasons of The Simpsons. So yeah, I started watching that too. So, so yeah, I got got spoiled today, but um. But yeah, I, and I, I, I get that uh, Itchy and Scratchy, they're not a, it's not a standalone cartoon, but it's still one of my faves, though. Um, but kind of going back to American History X, um, when I last watched it, I got as far as, like, I want to say about the halfway point, and I, I'm going to try to keep the spoilers to a minimum, but um, I got as far as the... Uh, as far as the part where the main character, uh, for those that don't know, he's like a hardcore white supremacist. I mean, I think uh, he was so, uh, I mean, he was basically balls deep in racism that I think even other, uh, I think there was even other, even other, other white supremacists were like, man, calm down, dude. Dude, man, like, chill, man. I mean, it was, it, he was like that hardcore. But um, he, he killed a black guy and got sentenced to three years in prison. He uh, came back though, a totally changed man. Like he just, man, we need to stop this racism. Racism's wrong, and all this other stuff. And pretty much, uh, pretty much every, all of his, uh, I don't want to say all his family, but like his, uh, his brother, his girlfriend, and all that. Man, prisons made you soft. You're such a pussy, and that kind of thing. So, but like I said, that was as far as I got, got the last time I watched it. So, uh, what I was anticipating was uh, kind of this Lord of the Flies kind of kind of story, like where uh, okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Okay, that should do it. But yeah, anyway, um, I kind of lost my train of thought. But yeah, so anyway, like I was, uh, I was kind of anticipating the rest of the movie being like this Lord of the Flies kind of story. You know, you had two camps. You had, you had, uh, you had his camp and, and, you know, guys, we need to stop this Nazi bullshit. It's, uh, it's wrong. And then you had, like, the pro-Nazis. Y'all are pussy. Fuck niggers. Kill them all. You know, it's in you know, these two big, two big, you know, factions going at it, which I probably would have lost interest at some point and just called, called off the movie. But no, so no, um, they actually talk about, uh, his prison life and what he went through and stuff. So, but like I said, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it off as far as the spoilers go on that. But like I said, the, the rest of the movie happened totally unexpectedly. So definitely gotta be watching this whole thing. And, um, I forgot to say this yesterday too, but it's like a really, like an, like an almost, an, I don't want to say an all-star cast. But there's a, I mean, there's some names in there that I never expected to be in there. Um, Eddie Furlong, he was John Connor in Terminator 2, like the kid, like John Connor. Yeah, he's in this. Last movie I expect this kid to be in. Um, oh, who else? Beverly D'Angelo. Um, he was, she was the mom on all those uh, National Lampoon's Vacation movies. She's in here. Never expected her to be in this kind of movie. Um, let's see who else is in here. This this really big fat guy in there. I don't know his name, but I think I've seen him in other movies too. I don't remember which ones, but they sure as hell weren't American history. They weren't anything like American History X. So yeah, some surprise names in this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink real quick. But yeah, pretty, basically, mind blown. So yeah, I'll be definitely watching more of that. Or, excuse me, I'll be, I'll definitely be watching the rest of this movie sometime after this cast is over.
as well as the itchy and scratchy show. Like I said, it, it, it's not a standalone cartoon, but it's still one of my faves. Um, but otherwise, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call call it good here. Oh, 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 oh! One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Um, I need to do this real quick. And... Okay, there we go. Kind of messed up a bit. All right. So I do. Um. No, oh, you just heard it. Um. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be a big, huge, sudden process or anything like that. It's just gonna be something that I'm gonna probably do gradually over time. Cause as it is right now. Oh, and I'm sorry. Let me back up a bit. For those that don't know, uh, it's when I first started um, adding visuals to my cast videos, I would do a behind the scenes part of it. Like this is like I talk about. You know how I. You know, the things I do to put them together and stuff like that. And whenever I learn something new, I'll always talk about it after the ca after this cast is over. Although, technically, I kind of did this all wrong. But anyway, um, but one thing I am going to start doing, and once again, this is going to be a gradual process, is uh, in my um, in my pinball scene, um, I got a, I basically have a mini soundboard, a whole bunch of different sound effects and stuff. I'm going to start gradually importing them over into my cast videos. But like I said, I don't, I don't want to, I want to be very selective about what I bring over here because. Okay, that didn't work out right. Yeah, but anyway, on some of these uh, other scenes I have, I have a whole shit ton of sources on here. So it's already pretty hard on the eyes. So I, any further elements to this is just going to make it even worse to look at, or make it even harder to look at. So, like I said, it, this is going to be a very small, gradual process. Chances are what I might do is when I'm putting these cast videos together, if I think there's like an appropriate sound effect that I'd, that I'd want to use for... The current cast video I'll go ahead and add it but but otherwise I'm just gonna go ahead and uh just gonna go ahead and delete it so so okay but all right so all right let me Screw that up, so let me go ahead and delete that out of there. Okay, so I already I kind of see a drawback to doing that. It's also a beautiful, beautiful way I have to I have to set the sound effects up. Whenever I switch a scene, all the sound effects that I have in there, they all go off. But again, that's um, I have to set it up that way. Okay, but now that's going to do it for me. Um, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And um, I should be able to do another one at least tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.